Hi, welcome to this awesome machine. We have been teaching a lot of stuff already. And one of the things maybe you think is, hey, I can make the fonts now bigger, but why not change the fonts altogether? So not not all sans, but something else. Well, it all depends. There are a lot of uh, fonts out there and you can go and have a look. And control Alt T, Packer fonts or something. I mean, there are lots of fonts out there. Or you can find um, also a great tip is to launch your browser and say what do other people do actually so, well, it's already here so github awesome rc lua team lua and see what other people have put on their githubs and what fonts they use google plus another source and see if people say look this is what i can create what i can create with my config and then you can start reading what he's using what uh, font he's using and so on so all good ideas but i have already something installed of course we have our own script which is in here arco awesome and we have already fonts installed we have these fonts here droid is nice um, noto is we're using noto and but i'm gonna show you how to work with terminus fonts and see if you like that one so the terminus font it's installed how do i even start finding out what is the actual name well control super control uh sorry control alt t and we'll find it together you need to remember two letters fc font cache or something reminds something to keep it in your head because here this fc cache but it's not that what i need it's the list of all the fonts are in your machine i tend to do this one in the terminal you can probably do this in font manager but it's easier for me to just give me a list and say of everything there is this is your complete list of all the fonts there are the only thing i need to know is just give me a grab so a part of it look for the word and which word terminus now i'm gonna make a mistake because well, Linux is uh, sensitive about capital letters and small letters, so it had to be a big T. Okay, so now I have my name. That's what I want to know. What do I need to name it? How do I need to name it to call up this font? It's this name, Xos4 Terminus. So I need the whole package, this thing. Then I go up to, let's get rid of that. Let's get up to this one. We are in the power arrow blue, check, we are here as well. And we're going to change the team Lua. It was, it will, it was this one. It will be something else. It will be the other one. XOS4, terminal, terminus. Um, and that's it. Yeah, we can maybe use regular as well. Regular 11, save. Let's take a look again. So style bold, regular, okay, fine. XS or XOS4, check. XOS4, terminus, regular 11. I'm gonna take this already with me. Or maybe, now let's wait. Save, super shift reload. What happens? All these elements have something different. And why did I wait? 11 is too big in this font. It looks more nerdier if we use a nine. So yeah, cool. So we have now this very small font up here and people with a smaller screen will appreciate it so they can make this panel smaller. So we have now what we need. This is our look, Ctrl Alt C. And we have uh, other fonts as well. So this is the general font. This means it's a variable that I reuse, but we can't reuse it everywhere. For instance, we have here another font. Yeah, you see, there are other elements in here and specifically this one we need to fix. And I already looked it up, it's, it says here down here, calendar. So it's a calendar, obviously. And we have told him to use this one, mono. Why mono? Because it needs to be aligned. You see the Thursday and all that, it's just neatly aligned underneath. And that's what we need to have, a mono spaced font. So. I'm gonna try it with this one. 
Control V, save, and of course um, we hope that this font is the same. Super Shift R, that is looking nice, and yes, it's okay. It's much smaller. The font is nine, of course, but it's okay, and everything is aligned properly. So we're good to go. Did we leave anything out? Are there other fonts that we forgot to uh, mention? There are 35 fonts in here. So this is all pointing to the top font, theme font, the variable we declared on the top. So no problem there. We just go over the fonts. If there is something here like this one, local weather icon, it's using this kind of font. Let's see if it's going to be nice or not. Save, reload, and indeed, oh yeah, much geekier, much geekier. So, by the way, that's a compliment. So we need to go move and check all the fonts. And if there is something, well, that's it, we're back at the top. So now we've changed our font up here. And uh, that was the purpose of our tutorial. All right, have fun.